get started, I want to welcome you to the uh, uh, conference here at the Institute for Mathematical Behavioral Sciences. For those of you who are new here, the Institute was founded uh, 17 years ago by Duncan Luce right over here. In fact, this is known as the Luce Conference Hall in honor of Duncan's many, many contributions, both research to UCI and for this institute. Uh, the purpose of this institute is to try to bring together some of the ideas of mathematical reasoning, mathematics, mathematical reasoning, to try to tackle some of the very, very difficult problems that are out there in the social and the behavioral sciences. In fact, this conference is an example of precisely that. Uh, this conference, uh, by the way, is also partially supported by the Center for Democratic Studies. Study for the study of democracy. For the study of democracy, <laughs> I'll get it straight. Uh, so Bernie uh, Grothman over here is the director of uh, that center, and he uh, kindly volunteered to uh, help pay some of the expenses, and so uh, we thank you, Bernie. Um, <coughs> this conference was put together by uh, Sergio Curtis and Michelle uh, Garfing, and uh, they uh, brought together a large number of topics coming from the ideas of conflict and governance. It is uh, the first time that the IMDS has really run a conference on this particular topic, and but it's long overdue. It's a topic that has been discussed, obviously, of great importance in our society, and it's also important uh, within the research program of the many people that are here at UCI. And so all of my main function today is just to welcome everyone and to introduce Sergios to have some comments about the game or the uh, goals and objectives of this conference. Well, uh, thank you for uh, support, uh, Don, uh, for inviting us to do this. And thank you, Bernie, and of course, Janet. And uh, so uh, and thank you for all of you coming here to uh, the conference, and including the speakers who came from afar. Uh, so. The papers that will be presented here today and tomorrow are uh, employ, for the most part, game theoretic approaches to the issue of conflict and cooperation, conflict and peace, and uh, represents a, it's a it's a new it's an area that is gaining <coughs> momentum, and uh, we'll have uh, the speakers are about half political scientists, half economists. And 20 years ago, there was a lot of uh, discussion about those topics, of course, traditionally international relations and political science, but uh, there was not much uh, formal game theoretic modeling. And over the past 20 years, you have the, uh, a steady increase in uh, the number of uh, papers and work uh, that uh, uses this approach in political science, but also you have a parallel increase in the number of economists who are working in this area. And uh, more so recent, recently in economics, this has become also of great policy significance for uh, places like the World Bank, where you, uh, they found out that uh, you know, many countries cannot pay back their debts because they are engaged in civil wars and a few of them in external wars. Uh, so it is uh, both in political science and in economics you have increasing interest on the topic and uh, today and tomorrow we'll uh, be discussing those, uh, some of these uh, developments and uh, we're happy to have you.